My name is Sarah Parnell. I live in this house behind me, which was built in 1800, and it's a four-bedroom house. If we were to sort of recommend that you replace this with, mm. with a more highly efficient uh, you know, gas boiler, for instance, mm. a lot of people are emotionally attached I to am. their Rayburns. I love that thing. Mm. I am emotionally attached to it. Yeah, yeah. But I can see it's a very expensive thing that I cannot impression. afford yeah. to run. Yeah. It's a good 30 years old, I would have thought. It's about 14 centimetres of loft insulation, really. It should be more like um, 30, so it's not enough. Uh, it'd be a big job though, taking all these possessions out of here and boarding it and putting more in, but it's something that she might want to consider. We've got an open fireplace and we're just wondering whether it's locked in. Oh no, 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 it's not. So what we can see here is there's lots of cold air coming in under the skirting board. Um, we're on the first floor, below this is a stone wall and above this is the timber frame wall and there's obviously a lot of air coming through the cracks in the wall. Probably also under all the floors here as well, there'll be cold air coming up between the floorboards. Just having a look at Sarah's electricity and gas bills to work out how much fuel she's consuming in a year. We're going to suck air out of the property, okay? That pressure differential will cause air outside to try and force its way into the house. And so what that means is you can start to try and understand where where the leaky bits are in your property, where you can start to draft proof. So we're up on the third floor of the house, looking at the old sash windows, and you can see a big strip of purple along there where the, you can see daylight where the cold air is coming in. The windows are really poorly sealed. So we've just finished the home energy assessment here, and there's loads of stuff that they can do. Number one, they can change their ineffective and inefficient boiler. It's so inefficient to the extent that the homeowner's not putting it on at the moment to save money. So a highly, highly efficient condensing boiler along with thermostatic regulation would just be great. Number two, they've got really drafty old sash windows which are letting in a lot of cold air. By adding secondary glazing, that will help reduce the drafts. Number three, they've only got 100 mil of insulation in the loft, they've got enough space for 300 mil, they should absolutely do that. Number four, they've got an electric immersion heater which is on 24 hours a day. It needs to be timed and that will really cut down on the bills. And finally, the Green Deal's coming in at the end of this year. It's going to provide loan finance for households like that and these are perfect measures to fit into the Green Deal and we think she should go with it.